it's an eye setting thing. Um, I've been through a lot. Um, I've been silent uh, for a purpose since I've been back. Because when you're gone, when I left, I was gone for three and a half years. And I gave a thought to Brother Marlowe when I first got back. And I've been through one of the hardest things that I could ever have been through. And, you know, that was the loss of, of Brooke. Yeah. You don't think you can ever go on, but you don't want to speak about it because you're afraid, you know, you just, you know, you, people don't want to hear about what you've been through or especially something like that, or they're afraid that it's going to rub up on them. And, like, I had no friends, but many nights I was in Kentucky. I never missed a service. I watched it on the computer, and I didn't never felt disconnected. But I had to finish up what was there, and I just couldn't wait to get back. And slowly, um, when I left here, um, here's the thought I dropped it for them all. Um, I, I had to be silent for a season, because um, changes had to take place inside of me that for years that should be have taken place and not be in the, behind the shadows. I was <laughs> afraid to be out and about, because I'm an outward person where I'm friendly and all that, but Right. On the other hand, draw back to where to show what my gifts were or are. And like, I just, when you go through something traumatic or something, you just want to be in the bushes and, and under no, no light shone on me or anything. And you know, for, to, to a point, you suffer, but sometimes you have to suffer in silence <coughs> until the changes take place. And um, when I left here, um, I was very, very large. Um, people know, you know, weight wise. And um, since I've been gone, I lost over 300 pounds. And I told Brother Marlo, I was like, I left heavy inside like a brick. And I was talking to Brother Marlo every month. You know, I didn't advertise Brother I'm hey, I'm talking to Brother Marlo every week. I wasn't disconnected, but I was touching base with Brother Marlo. Brother Marlo says, what's going on? You know, and um, as I knew that the timing, I felt my spirit that to come back to Florida, it's like, I was a jubilant, you know, it's like, it's, I had, I left with nothing, but I come back with everything because, you know, I got to come back fresh and white. And I told Brother Marlon, I just showed a couple of thoughts with people that I finally feel on the outside, like I do in the inside. Yeah. I'm not heavy. Um, my mom always tells me, where's the sister sunshine? You know, Brother Marlon's get back to work. You know, I'm like, you know, yeah, I can do this. You know, I can do this. All, all these years, but more, I've listened. You know, I've sat back, I've sat back. You know, I had to heal. I, all kinds of scars had to heal. And I am so open to share. And I'm glad to be back in the choir. You know, that's part of me. Praise you know, God. and I like, I even when singing at home in Kentucky, I'd be singing with Vanessa, you know, big tenor. You know, it's like, oh my gosh, I just get back to Florida, you know. Yeah. And, you know, and, and the, the timing with God's timing. When your son, I have a, a great son, the Lord bless me with, and everything, my wishes and dreams that I have a child that here maybe doesn't do it right, and going to church, that's all a parent can ever ask for. And then my, my other prayer that was answered, because I know that work made it. And, you know, I don't have to worry. And um, you know that you're, you know you get back to where you're feeling that you, um, you know, and it's coming up on, like, like, I think that like a couple months ahead of time, it's like, oh gosh, February's coming around the corner. But you know what? I'm not that, I'm already, my mind is telling me it's not, it's not bad. You know, she's in a better place. It's us, it's us that has to go to, to where they're at. You know, we're the ones that have to struggle to where they're at, you know? And I, um, just, and Sister Teresa, I'm going to get back in the band. I, I miss the joy. What's missing from my music was my joy. You know, the joy is, 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 you locked up the joy, but you can't lock it up no more, you know? And I feel like, you know, I've been wanting to run and testify, and, you know, I just turned 48, but I feel like I'm 30 something now. I got a brand new chance. And this comes to heaven. share um, the last three, four years, but you know, it's, if 
I was wondering what's going on with me. You know, then I'm like, you know, I'm not falling back or I just sat still on a purpose because I knew the Lord's moving me. And he put the desire of I clean the church. I love cleaning the church. That may sound silly, but it's this is my this is my home. So make my home clean. You know, and the joy, the love of music and singing and all that has come back. Where as a wrong, you try to lock it away, but you know you can't. If it's God's gift, then you know it's you that suffers because you're not doing what you're supposed to be doing. So um, I've been sitting on this song, and I know I haven't seen it for about three years, but um, you raise me up. Isn't it good to see a child?